The very first Electronic Arts Battlefront game has divided fans, and even brought with it an entirely fresh audience too. But whatever your stance on this latest Galaxy Far Far Away outing, there's no denying that what it does right, it does well. 2017's Rogue One will mark the end of paid Battlefront DLC, and thoughts will turn to Battlefront 2017, aka Battlefront 2, aka Battlefront 4. Man, that's confusing. But until then, here are seven reasons why EA's current Battlefront title betters its 2005 predecessor, Battlefront 2. Number 1. It really is Star Wars. George Lucas' space opera saga is hallowed ground, and it has an extremely distinctive feel. Over the years, some Star Wars video games have managed to capture that feel better than others, but in my mind, no video game has managed to capture the aesthetic and cinematic feel of the movies better than Battlefront. From blaster fire, to the musical score, to the art direction of never-before-seen locations and items, Battlefront feels like Star Wars. The way that Darth Vader strides towards the enemy, the way that an ATST's spindly legs awkwardly carry its bulbous cockpit, an eerie smoke and bright orange lighting of the carbon freezing chamber. Sometimes you end up dying just because you're overwhelmed by the authenticity of the whole experience. Number 2. Weapons the class system from other Battlefront games is gone, and although some may prefer this Battlefield-esque system, Battlefront's wealth of weaponry and the fine nuances differentiating each weapon far exceeds what came before. Power-ups are an inspired decision too, adding much interest to play and quickly turning the tide of battle. They also ensure that none of the heavyweight weaponry, such as the Thermal Imploder and Smart Rocket, can get spammed, and therefore become overly powerful. Number 3. Graphics. It's unfair to compare the graphical prowess of a game from 2005 and 2015, but upon its release, Battlefront was one of the best looking games on console, and even impressed upon PC gamers too. Battlefront 2 may be over a decade old, but I don't remember it impressing visually at the time, at least anywhere near as much as its successor. Number 4. Heroes. Battlefront 2 contained a wealth of heroes right off the bat, and if you've not purchased any Battlefront DLC, the DICE title is sorely lacking in content. But that aside, I have been very impressed with the way heroes have been handled. They're distributed fairly during game modes such as Walker Assault and Supremacy, and complement a variety of playstyles, not to mention some clever and inventive abilities. Counting DLC, the likes of Dengar and Nyan Nub are inspired choices. We've all played as Bobber, Luke and Vader before, but it's great fun granting more minor characters the spotlight. Brilliant fan service. Number 5. Character customization. It's limited, but it's better than nothing, and it's more than we got in Battlefront 2. It's great to see Lady Stormtroopers blasting their way through the battlefield, and it's a nice touch that outfits change subtly depending on the environment. Number 6. Combat. Combat is fluid, intuitive, and fun. What more could you ask for? The Battlefront series has never been about realistic ballistics and deep strategy, it's about blasting stormtroopers and force choking rebel scum. And we finally got the combat role. Number 7. Game Modes We've all been wanting to fly out of a rebel blockade runner in an X-Wing, only to blast a few TIE fighters and land in the hangar bay of a Star Destroyer. There's still the Rogue One DLC, and failing that, Battlefront 2 2017, for that matter. But, on the whole, and especially after DLC releases, the variety of game modes has been more than acceptable. Fighter Squadron is certainly a nice touch. The sound of a TIE Fighter or a TIE Advance laser cannons never get old. And then with the likes of Walker Assault, more maps would have been nice, but it's great fun nonetheless. And even something as simple as Blast, we didn't get that in past titles. There's enough here now to keep you playing for hours. You've heard seven things that Battlefront did better than other entries in the series. Do you agree? And what are you looking forward to in the Rogue One DLC or incoming sequel? Let me know in the comments below. May the Force be with you. Oh, the Force mind tricks only work on the weak-minded. But here goes. <clears throat> like you will. Subscribe you must.